Ugh. I'm really tired, but I'm still gonna do this unboxing. Now, it's not a mainstream thing that I'm doing here, but I wanna do it anyways. I've been waiting for this package for since I had purple hair. And it's starting to... I don't know, it's probably a couple of weeks ago, so... I'm a little, yeah. But I finally got it. It's huge. It's from Tan Beauty. And I have gotten so many products for really, like, nothing. I mean, it's super cheap. And they have such nice colors, so why wouldn't I? It's not coming in a box. It seems like it's covered in those floofy things with like that you like. You just press them and they explode. It's like this air bubble plastic thing. I'm gonna open this baby. And this is what's waiting for me. And here's another one. So it's like, it's a lot. It's a lot. I don't know if they have just used empty spaces just to like fill it up because I can't remember ordering that much, but I think that's a common problem. I had no idea that the packages were gonna turn out to be that big, but you know. We have makeup, we finally have it. I was just hoping that I would get it before Halloween. Honestly, I was hoping that I would get it three weeks ago, but I just, there's a lot of tape here, so I'm just thinking that I, I'm gonna try to pull them out this way. I think I'm gonna break the package. There we go. Oh, well. There's a crack in the box, so I mean that sort of that thing sort of ruins the magic, but otherwise the package looks very good. I mean it's like super shiny and this is like the highlight package. I'm gonna do some swatches later. This is the Pro eyeliner, pro liquid eyeliner. It's a waterproof black. It was also super cheap. I think it was like two or three dollars or something. I think it's like two dollars, perhaps three dollars. It's like, yeah, it's nothing. The package is tiny though. You don't really get that much when you buy drugstore makeup anyways. And it's like seven times more expensive. So I also bought this lip liner. It's uh, in the color Majesty. It's super nice. It's like this plum color that I am super into right now. And I also bought a concealer stick. Uh, I decided that I just wanted to get these products for very cheap so I can use them when it comes to special effects and a lot of things like that. And I also bought a foundation that's like, I think it's like $1. You actually do get a lot of product in these ones, but I think it has like a red undertone, so it's not for me, but I bought it for when I have customers and stuff like that. And we're just gonna try it out now just to see how the coverage is, how good it is, you know, depending on what it's what it costs. And we're gonna just do a little drop right here. Okay, let's see. So, okay, so it's really smooth. It smears out easily. It seems like it leaves some strakes. Otherwise, it seems okay. It seems that it's adjusting very well to my skin tone. I think you have to build it up to get equal coverage. I can't see any difference here when I look at the tiny screen in my camera. Actually, it blends really well in. And the result is actually, I don't know, it looks good. It evens out the skin tone. And then... I have no idea what this huge thing is. Oh, I think it's my brushes. I have a bad habit of using the same, oh, what's it called? The same eyeshadow brush, even if it's light or dark. And it's just, yeah, it's bad, it's bad. Yes. I'm getting really excited right now. Look at it. Ain't it pretty? Oh, it's the unicorn dream brushes that I always wanted. I'm lying. I just saw them and I wanted them. Okay, so the package is kind of squashed. They didn't really take into consideration that there will be some weight on the package when they're sending it because there are also a lot of other packages that are going to be sent. And it's already falling out of the box. We're gonna try and shake it back like this. You can see that the brush hairs are a little bit everywhere at the moment. I'm just hoping that it has a good fallback. So the brushes won't mess up once you use them. It actually looks like it has been opened already, but it's like, what do you expect? So we can take a closer look at them now. These are in the package. They have a beautiful design. Even, even the brush hairs have like this really colorful and neat design that I'm really digging. We have this, I don't know if it's for the eyeliner or it's for the lip. It's most likely an eyeliner brush, as you can see the angle here. I think there are two blending, no. I think this is a blending brush and this is a regular eyeshadow brush actually. And you can see here, it's so pretty, right? Yes. 
Look at them. This actually sort of looks used, if you can see. It has some wear to it. I don't know if that's just something that I can pull. No, it's actually a mark. I think this is like a blending brush for concealer and you can see that. There are already some fallouts, so we'll see. And finally, we have the powder brush, which is really beautiful. You know, see, it's so big and it's so fluffy. It's amazing. And then you can see, oh, it's such unicorn, such much, such wow. Yes. It says, I love makeup. They don't really have a brush name, which would be good for me. That isn't really that good with the brushes. And you see girls that are like really enthusiastic about makeup and they're like, the LRO175 brush is like super for doing eyeliner and stuff. I'm not, I'm not that updated when it comes to stuff like that. So creds to them. But this is the entire set. I have ordered even more brushes from Wish and I'm going to test them and see how they are. And I will get back to you. Look, look. Yes! If you guys want to see some creative and special effects makeup, just make sure that you like this page and you follow me for more updates and I'll see you guys next time. Whatever I'm supposed to do. Bye!